Welcome to RPM. In this video, we'll see how to create offer letter using Excel data. So we'll use your automation anywhere as a RPE based tool. And if you can see here, we already have few templates. Normally, creating an offer letter is a bit tedious task and repetitive work for any HR team. Rather than doing manually, we can generate an offer later automatically. That is very helpful when we are trying to create an offer later through templates. Every company is having their own standard templates or what will do Go into that template, update the detail according to the Excel sheet and share with the employee with whom we want to share this offer later. So here we will use automation anywhere as a RPA tool. And if you can see here, we have employee data generated in this Excel sheet. By using these Excel data, we will generate the offer later and send out an email to the end user with respective attachment. So, and this is the template which we will use it. And these are the salary by formation, which we will specify it within our offer letter. So after the execution of the bot, we'll have these offer letter generated as for the respective name in PDF format and if you want, we can share with the end user. Let me execute this bot, see the result, and after that, I will explain you from scratch. This is very easy and quicker way to generate an offer later from any company using automation anywhere. So let me run this bot. First of all, I need to close all the open Excel and once the execution will be completed, I will explain you the code, how we have built it. And if you think so, this is related to your requirement, reach out to us. We will share this code with you, where you can use this complete flow within your organizations. Just add your email ID in the comment section, so we'll share this with everyone. Now, first of all, bot will open each of the file update the detail and after updating the detail it will send out an email to the end user with respective offer later this will go one by one fail enter all those details and generate the offer later for respective users you can see all those informations are capturing from the excel sheet which we have now this will save into the pdf file within the respective folder where we have defined. So this offer letter is generated, which you can see it here, which contains first employee name, which was present in the Excel file. After that, it will start for the second one, go one by one, filling this detail and generate the offer letter for the second employee, which exists in the Excel sheet. Again, this will save into the PDF format and then start for the next one so this is how we can quickly generate an offer letter without wasting a lot of time by just manually creating the offer letter of any employee now it started with the third one and after that we'll see a bot execution has been completed and i will explain you the complete code so don't worry about it because of the connectivity you can see this might got interrupted and we will get an error so just because of the internet issues where we have faced uh, during the executions and that's the reason because i'm running through cloud flow but if you navigate into the folder we have two offer letters generated successfully so there's no issues within the code because we are running from the cloud versions and for a few seconds we got interrupted that's the reason third one is not generated successfully now here, if you can see the company logo is defined here, it, it was sending the email or detail with these respective users and here we have all those informations generated successfully. 
So whenever we are creating any offer letter, it will consume a lot of time and this will create a pain for the HR team to generate repetitively. So rather than doing manually, we can generate this offer letter through this form, which will help an HR team to save their lot of time. So let's understand the Excel data which we have. So in the Excel file, HR has to fill all those information within the Excel, which contains address, city and state, pin code, mobile number, company name, then center name, center designations, department. So this is the format which we can customize it according to our requirement with the compensation detail and other benefits which we have because every employee's compensations will be different. Benefits are also different, more or less it's similar. But if if we are including the various type of employees' benefits, then probably this might differ from superiority to junior label. And here we we have payment durations and finally we are defining the email ID and last date of acceptance details. But we can increase and decrease number of fields totally depending on a, our requirement to take out this data and fill within this template. So this is the template which is available in the Excel format. By using this template, the bot will fill all those information here and then within this and this will generate an offer later for the employee. So these are the templates which we have and this is the final generated offer later. Let's understand the code, how we have generated this code. So first of all, if you can see here, we have used Excel. Within this Excel, we have specified the location of Excel sheet where employee details are stored. As of now, I wanted to store this information into the input and here we have used local sessions. You can also use global or valuable. And here I've selected desktop file so that we can use you can you can use control room file or through variable. Now I wanted to maximize the Excel window, that's why I've used actions window maximize. Third options again, I used Excel where we have defined the offer later templates so this is the offer later templates again we are using desktop file and local decisions we have stored into output same again we, we are using maximize window after that we want to iterate within the loop so the iterations will have different informations first is excel row zero so based on the excel row zero this is my excel row zero which contains the employee name for whom I wanted to generate the offer later. I'm adding delay in each of the places. Next one is Excel row one because array is always starting with zero. So this is my address information which will be filled within the Excel template. And after filling all those informations within the Excel, this will convert into the PDF file and store into desired locations which we have specified so go through all those sections which we wanted to generate and here after each sections i added here one second of delay so that our bot will not fail once these acquisitions will be iterated within the loop this will navigate into the folder structure and save this file so here we wanted to generate within the pdf format that's why we have used the sections and finally after switch to the sheet we are closing both the excel file so after we are done whenever we are executing these reports we will have offer later generated within our system which even we can enhance, enhance it sending out in an email to the end users with the attachment of offer later so that's all we have built it through automation anywhere, which will be very helpful for the HR team to generate auto offer later by using RPA based tool. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you think so, this will be useful or you want this use case to be in your inbox, add your email ID in the comment section. So we'll send out this use case to your email ID. That's all from this video. 
Thank you for watching.